Bet Online is where the game started last night, today, and all throughout the weekend. But where did it maybe stop for the Falcons or for one particular individual? So we're going to get right into it, guys. We are not going to play games with you today. Because I ain't playing with y'all today, man. JD I ain't playing with y'all today. J Bo has thoughts. I ain't playing with y'all today, man. He, yes, when he starts to put the hoodie on, it's yeah, a man, it's going problem. Down, man. And, and you know what, Jarvis? I understand. <laughs> I truly do understand any and every direction you want to go in. It's like we told everybody yesterday that this was going to be a day where we debrief you <sighs> on this game. We were just hoping that we're going to debrief you and be able to tell you that, hey, the Falcons made some headway in the <laughs> NFC South, and they are now at five. Oh. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Not today. They made some headway, all right. (laughs) 22 to 15, and I don't even know if that's that score, Jarvis, excuse me, 25 to 15. I don't even know if that score really indicates the struggle that that game was for the Falcons last night. So we can break it down seven ways to Sunday, and we will because we've got 10 days to do it. Yes. They're not playing another game for 10 days, but let's just start to kind of unpeel you know, the orange, if you will. Would you like to go with the obvious first, Travis? Or of course. Not? Like, let's what, just, what, let's just where else would I want to start this start this doggone let's segment? Just because go ahead and ask them, Jarvis. <laughs> I mean, if your quarterback is making rookie mistakes, like scrambling around and scrambling to the ground to throw a ball, basically when you're already in the grass, but that ball could potentially be caught for a pick six because you're not you're not technically all the way in the grass. You're like right there on the edge of it. Man. You got lucky. They called you in the grass. But that could have gone a whole different direction. So Jarvis, if Marcus Mariota is out here making decision-making rookie mistakes, why are you not playing the real rookie? I don't know. I, I, I don't I don't get it. I don't understand it because and, and, and here's the thing. I'm not even talking about future face of, face of the franchise. That's not mm-hmm. that's not my thought process. Right. Let me go ahead and get that out of the way because sure. I think that a lot of people st- starting to come into the season, we had a lot of conversations about seeing what you have, knowing what you have before mm-hmm. uh, for next year because the quarterback class is supposed to be great in sure. 2023. Yeah. yeah. I'm, no, that's not, where I am. I'm, uh, that's not where I am. I'm specifically talking about a seven-year veteran making rookie mistakes. And you know, Dan Orlovsky is going to be forever known as the guy to run out of the back of the end zone un- untouched. Like, he chose to run out the back of the end zone for a safety, right? I think we can probably point out three to four plays that were Dan Orlovsky like last night. <laughs> and, and, you know, and Dan Orlovsky was a career backup for the most part. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're talking about. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about a guy who's supposed to be projects as a career backup yes and you you drafted this dude last year you know with the in mind to say hey this is a guy that we feel like we can work with Mm -hmm. and 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 for all the people saying well he's gonna make those rookie mistakes every game i'll i'll argue against that and say hey arthur smith is a good enough play caller to make sure that Desmond Ritter doesn't make as many mistakes as he possibly could if he were just to let the reins let him off. It's because I don't think the game plan the game plan isn't going to change if Desmond no. Ritter comes into the game. Right. We know he's going to run that rock thirty five to forty times as much as possible, just mm-hmm. like the Carolina Panthers did. You yeah. know they ran the football and they ran the football till they couldn't run it anymore. <laughs> T, you know what I'm saying? So I, I think that when we talk about a, a, a veteran quarterback making all these mistakes and and i'm sitting here we sitting here have to watch that crap because that's what it was that was crap that was crap and then you got the national media and you already know everybody's about to go in now because mm-hmm. this these are the same folks that said that this team was only two games they were only good for two wins mm-hmm. so you sitting up here proving people wrong and then you prove them right yeah. because marcus mariota's out here I, I literally there were plays where i was just like what were you thinking? Yeah. Yeah. What were you thinking? And then we talked about it yesterday. We begged of him <laughs> not to no. just go with the first read. Like, can you just every now and again 
go through progressions. I mean, it was like the Panthers defenders, and I'm just going to say all the defenders. I'm not even going to like break it down and say, oh, well, the secondary. No, no, no. All 11 of them knew where you were going. All right. 11. Every single time. Shaq Thomas had a pick I, six. Dropped it. Like literally. Dropped it, T. Shaq Thompson was like, <laughs> oh, my God, this dude gave me a Christmas gave gift. Gave me one. Crimmel girl, crimmel, a little crimmel girl. Oh my God. But you know, it's it's one of those things where it's so frustrating because we're seeing it real time and we're trying to understand that, like you said, as a seven year vet, why why you're not seeing it because we're seeing it and, and we're, we're confused as to why you're not. And I think the other piece there is this, and I'm going to play a little devil's advocate, although I do agree with you wholeheartedly because this might be that situation where because you have the 10 days, and because you're playing the lowly bears, when you do come back, that might this might be the the prime opportunity to uh, bring in Desmond Ritter. And quite honestly, this was kind of where I figured he'd come in. Th this was right. This is exactly where I said, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of seeing him coming around in week ten, week eleven situation. And mm -hmm. and here we are. But I'll be a little a slight devil's advocate and ask you this question: taking nothing away from the miscues of Mariota, I would then venture to say, however. <laughs> Is it just, or is it really just the guy under center or the guys protecting him and the injuries that are piling up along the O-line? Because I could have sworn, Jarvis, that we had sent a notification to Flowery Branch. A push like notification. Yeah. To say, Not go ahead, push notification to testing. watch ACL day once because we pretty much kind of tell you guys, hey, here's what we think. Drew Dahlman did not get the push notification. I am convinced of it. He did not get it last night because I could have sworn we told him, make sure you don't even have to get pushed to the second level. Hold at the first Hold. Just hold. Hold. All you hold. But I could have I'll sworn be fine that him be pushed back to the second, third, and 18th level last night. But it, it could have just been me. I don't know. So when you think Pretty about, <laughs> like, like, so like, when you think about how, how the, the first game went, right? My whole yeah. thing is, Drew Dalman can't become a better center during the season. Right. That's just those are just my beliefs, right? Mm -hmm. You know, as a former former football player, it's hard to like be, get better during the during the regular season. Like mm -hmm. you get better during the uh, off season. That's yeah. when you spend time trying to do that, those things. However, mm -hmm. there are certain things that you can do to combat not not letting it happen in what happened last time, right? Because mm -hmm. what, 12 tackles, he was out there flowing like a linebacker, you know, yeah. oh, yeah, psh, oh, oh, get off me, psh, psh, oh, get off me, mm -hmm. oh, let me go make this tackle on yes. third and short, you know, mm -hmm. and he did it again last night. But I just you have issues with getting beat the same way every yeah. single time. Yeah. That's the problem I have because mm -hmm. they knew what was going down in this game. They knew that Derrick Brown was going to be lined up right over your center yeah for probably about 65, 70% of the time. And T, mm -hmm. let me go ahead and add this real quick. Mm -hmm. It got to a point where he was moving around. They just moved him around. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna line up over Chris Lindstrom. Chris yes. Lindstrom, my dog, that's my boy. Yes. All pro yeah. guard, he's still yep. all pro guard. Yep. He and gave him that night. work too. He yeah. was passing him out work. that work too. Yep. In the Caleb next play, <laughs> Caleb McGarry, I'm about to line up over you too, Jack. And yep. I'm gonna do oh, that too. No. On the T, Oh. The man, Derrick Brown was so good. Let me tell you how good Derrick Brown was for, for the Carolina Panthers last night. He was so good that Caleb McGarry saw that he was lined up over Chris Lindstrom, and he thought he was going to help out Chris Lindstrom, and he had to do line up right over him. He was lined up directly over him, and he had his head turned. As soon as the ball snapped, he turned his head inside to where inside. Derrick Brown was. I was like, Round and it's like no how is he wow. that good yeah how is he that good y'all contain aaron donald the best interior lineman in the entirety of the nfl yes. and y'all couldn't figure out how to yes. at least smell him y'all yes. couldn't even smell derrick brown last night like i said t our standards were so low our standards were so low yesterday they we, we literally said we literally said at least touch him Yes. Get in his get put your booty right between him and the running back. Mm -hmm. And you'll be fine. I don't yeah. care about hand placement, none of that. Just put your your bottom, you know, your, your, your glutes. Put your glutes mm -hmm. between the running back yeah. and Derrick Brown. Yeah. And you couldn't even do that. Yeah. And you try to block him when you're not even supposed to. Yeah. 
Yeah. And, and let the man line up directly over you. You let him just run, have a free pass to the quarterback. How is that okay? It's like, how is that? Like, that's, that is mental crap. Yeah. Mental now, crap. You, you weren't prepared. Were you weren't prepared, T. You weren't right. prepared. I'm sorry. At all. At all. 